Hey guys, welcome back to Sip and Dip with Chelsea. For today's video, I am going to be showing you how I achieved this cute little colorful French manicure design. This is with gel liners on top of dip powder. So let's go get started. I'll be using Kira Sky's recycling tray today and doing the pour over method. I decided to do a little apex on my short nail, so I've grabbed Kira Sky's natural. So just as a heads up, I went ahead and dipped my ring finger because I had a little accident. Totally my fault, my nail is fine, but rather than it be a distraction, I went ahead and dipped it. I'll be using Kira Sky's dip powder liquids today, so I've got my base and we can start. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm just gonna build up a really quick, easy apex on my short nails. You do not have to do this step if you don't want to. So I'm gonna do one small stripe down the center, pour the powder over top, and that is it. Then we go in for color. So if you wanna skip this step and go straight in for your color dip powder, you absolutely can. I've really been enjoying doing the pour over method lately. It gives me thinner, more natural layers, and I find it to be so much faster when I go to file and shape. All right, that's it for our natural powder. So I'm just pouring it back into the jar. So now that it's dry, I'm gonna dust off the excess powder. So you can see here, it just gives me a little bit more of an arch right at the center, and it also is going to give more strength there as well for my free edge area, which will prevent any bending, cracking, or anything of that sort. I'll be using Kira Sky's Prim and Proper, so I'm gonna pour it into my little tray here. I've already cleaned it out with water, and then I'm gonna start my base brush where my last layer ended and guide the product back to my cuticle area, just pulling it down all of that excess across my nail to create an even surface making sure I do not get this on my skin and really just going around making sure I have a thin even layer so I follow these same steps for all of my nails doing a full layer of the base liquid and then pouring the powder over top when I'm pouring the powder over I always try to make sure that I'm getting all the way over to those sides and that the entire nail is fully covered I've really been enjoying these liquids lately. I like that they're a little bit faster drying. I don't feel rushed by any means, but I do enjoy when I'm trying to just pour over and be done like a very straightforward manicure. These liquids are great. So now that they're dry, I'm just going to scrub everything off and then we're gonna do one more layer of color. So I'm gonna do one more full layer with my base liquid going across the entire nail, just making sure I have a thin, even layer, not getting the product on my skin, and then pouring the powder over top. As much as I do miss my long nails, I also really enjoy the short nail life. And I love being able to do designs like this to show y'all that short nails can have fun too, that it's totally doable to still do nail art and add some color. We still can have a cute little apex. So don't be afraid to do nail art on your short nails. They can totally rock the fun colors and designs and all of that too. All right, so I am done with my base shade color. I'm gonna pour it back into my jar and now we are going to encapsulate. I grabbed my clear dip powder. I'm gonna pour it over into my tray. I've already cleaned it out. We're gonna do one more full layer across the entire nail and then pour the clear over top. So this is going to protect the color when we go to file and shape. So between having a thinner consistency liquid such as these and pouring the powder over top, it really is a dream team when you go to file and shape. I don't have to do a whole lot of work because it lays down so beautifully. They're not too thick on my nails. Honestly, like I mentioned earlier, I've really been loving pouring the powder over top. I don't do it every time, but when I do, I remember why I love it so much. Now that they're dry, I'm just gonna scrub off all of that excess clear dip powder. So with the seal and protect, this is their activator. I'm going to apply a very generous layer of this to all of the nails and let it dry for two minutes and then file, shape, and buff off camera. Because I'm doing gel on top, that second layer of activator is not necessary. So I'm gonna use some rubbing alcohol and a lint-free wipe to cleanse all of the nails before getting started on my gel art. Thank you. 
I went ahead and did my thumb off camera just so I could get a feel for the products and see how I wanted my lines to be. So here is Starry of my life. I'm just removing the excess product off of my brush and then starting where my natural smile line is. So I'm gonna do my free edge first and do a little light touch on each side. So the harder you push on the brush, the thicker your line will be. I'm just cleaning up my line right there, making sure it's nice and even and getting that free edge area. I am going to cure after each each shade. Here is pigment to be, just removing the excess product on my brush, and then I'm gonna start it right where that yellow one ended. So going side to middle and side to middle. That helps me keep my lines nice and even. If you notice, I do roll my left hand as well along with the brush and have them work together. So once I'm happy with it, then I cure. Here is take a tint. I'm just removing the excess product and starting on my free edge again. So I'm just holding my skin back right here, trying to make sure I do not get this product on my skin following just an outline of my free edge area first and then thickening up the line after. Once I'm happy with it, then I cure. This is Good Muse, removing the excess product and then starting it right where that last shade ended. I'm going right to the middle and then side again to the middle, rolling my finger, working them together. This is Warhol of Fame and doing the same steps. I love how pigmented these gel liners are. It makes it really, really easy. You don't have to keep going over top of it or doing any extra layers. Just one layer is enough. I'm going to go ahead and do my pinky finger off camera because I feel like y'all get it at this point. Okay, so I'm done with my pinky. I'm gonna do one more full cure before top coat. So I've grabbed my gel top coat. I really enjoyed this one. It has a round brush and a very thin consistency. It might be the thinnest consistency gel top coat that I've ever used. I really don't care for gel top coats a lot of the times because they are a little bit thicker. It's just a personal preference thing. And this one kind of gives me like dip powder liquid vibes because it is thinner, but it still gives you that gel top coat shine and strength. So when I'm done with all of the nails, then I do a full 60 second cure. With some rubbing alcohol and a lint free wipe, I'm gonna remove that tacky layer on top of the gel. I decided to open up this cuticle oil that they sent me. I wanted to see the bottle. Everything is always so luxurious with them. I love it. It's such a vibe. And as you can see here, I applied way too much. I really probably only needed like one drop, but it smells so heavenly. So I don't mind bathing my entire hand in it. I went ahead and applied the excess on my other hand here to show it some love too. Here is the finished look. I had so much fun doing this design and playing with those gel art liners. I hope that today's video shows you that short nails can totally have fun too. We can rock all of the same designs and play with all the colors and all the things. Thank y'all so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.